asking a question. قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَخْشَى Let's make this text bigger for the brothers to be able to see it clearer, inshaAllah. Hopefully that's clearer. قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى كلمة وَاللَّيْلِ مَا فِيهَا مِنْ عَلَامَاتِ الْإِسْمِ What are the signs of the noun found in وَاللَّيْلِ أبو ميمون can I give you the mic? Okay بسم الله What can you tell me about وَاللَّيْلِ رَضِي عَلَامَاتُ الْإِسْمِ Sheikh Askin uh, It scrolled up again I'm just trying to figure out It's too early over here <laughs> <laughs> You got your coffee you need to Down some coffee bro وَاللَّيْلِ أَلَامَاتُ الْإِسْمِ What do you find? Well, what are some of the alamat al-ismi? وَاللَّيْلِ Let's go back to the place where Ibn al-Ajurum spoke about uh, the signs of the noun. He said, وَأَقْسَامُهُ ثَلَاثَةٌ إِسْمٌ وَفِعْلٌ وَحَرْفٌ جاء لِمَعْنَى فَالْإِسْمُ يعرف ب and then he جيد ألف اللام أحسنت that's one of them آه how has he got كسرة someone's asking so he's not sure about it mm-hmm. والليل إذا يغشى Has somebody else got control of the of the whiteboard? Because it seems to be scrolling in different places. Page numbers changing and stuff. It's only you and our uh, moon here. Inadvertently, it seems to be moving around. Okay, Alif Lam is there, as you said. Wallayli. Anything else? You said uh, it's got a kasra. It's got a kasra, although you don't know how it came, but it's there. So it's got a khaf. So that is, naam, ahsant. Haroof al khafdi. Haroof al khafdi. What are some of the haroof al khafd? He said at the end, wa haroof al qasami. He said over here, wa haroof al qasami. These are from the haroof al khafd. Al waw, wal ba, wal ta. Jayid. So, how many alamat do we have? We have three out of four. Tay, I sent them. You still got the mic, Abu Abu Maimon, so you're not off the hook. Um, هل يجتمع التنوين والألف واللام does Alif and Lam and Tanween come together? Is it possible? Al-Jawab, la, sahih, that's correct. It's not possible. When there's Alif and Lam, there's no Tanween. Yeah, yes, yes, it, it probably is breaking. It, my uh, internet bars are showing red and that the quality is poor. So I apologize for that. I hope it's not breaking also on Mixler. Yeah, but it has been doing that, as I said. 
um, based on where I am. السؤال الثالث عشر هل يمكن أن تجتمع العلامات الأربعة في اسم واحد؟ Is it possible for all four signs of an ism to come together in one noun? Is it possible to have all four signs? Abu Memur? No, it can't. Why not? Ahsant. It's not possible because when Alif al Lam is there, that means there's no Tanween. If there's Tanween, that means there's no Alif al Lam. So the most it can ever have is three. Jade. Abu Memur, you got control of the mic? So feel free to, uh, you know, uh, you know, to take it, answer by voice or by topic as you like, inshallah. هل تجتمع ثلاثة ثلاثة علامات؟ Can three signs come together at one time? Simple answer. While you guys are getting the answer, I'll go for the next question. Three? Yes, because we just did it. Walayli. And we had three. Wow, which is a half al qasam. Al khaf, which is the kasra, and alif al lam. Qal Allah ta'ala, su'al al khamis ashar. Bala wa rabbi latub'athun. Rabbi. Hal hiya ismun am fi'lun. Wa ma hiya al alamatu fiha. Wa ma hiya al alamatu fiha. What is Rabbi? Ism or Fi'l? And what signs does it carry? It's Ism because it has Haraf al-Khaf before it, now, which is, uh, what is the Haraf al-Khaf in this case? Wa'ul Qasim Sahih And therefore He also carries the sign which is Which is the Qasr, the Khaf Wa Rabbi Which is the Qasr on the Ba قبل الإضافة before it becomes مضاف before the مضاف إليه جيد السؤال السادس عشر قال الله تعالى أليس الله بعزيز بعزيز who are the signs of this being a noun اسم Of my moon's typing. B. Naam. Half of Jar. Ahsant. Anything else? Naam. That ba is with a kasat naam, we've got half al jar. It's also there's a tanween. That's two signs. And the third sign. Is the kasra itself the khaf? It's khaf. Okay, let's go to something more challenging. So al sabi ashar. Min wa ila. Min ayi and wa il huruf. What type of? Uh, حروف are these حروف what do they mean ما معناها 
وَمَثِّلْ لِمَا تَقُولْ Give an example for what you are, for what you say, what you mention. Now, to be honest, this one would have to... Is that you, is that you, Abu Mimun? Yeah, it's Ruben, yeah, yes. <laughs> MashaAllah. I'm trying to find it easy, make it easy for you guys by going to the section. You know, amazingly, when I read this with you, I understand a lot more when I read about than reading it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mashallah. Alhamdulillah, you guys have come a long way. Okay. So, what is the meaning of Min wa Ila? Okay, this is the actual mutton, right? Excuse me for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find the um, the yeah. the meanings that the Sheikh gave um, the, for the Huruf al You remember? Yeah. As he asked the question, the meaning of these Huruf, and he gave examples. So to, to refer those questions back to the Sheikh's answers. Indeed. Could be no. Here we are. وَقَوْلُهُ حُرُوفُ الْخَفْضِ This is on page 41. Now the Sheikh will begin to explain the meanings of those حروف he said the first one <coughs> min Jayid on page 42 let's go let's keep this in mind let's go back to the question the where was the question rather 50 56 Question says No, he said over here 
من وإلى من أي أنواع الحروف وما معناها ومثل لما تقول So what are the أنواع الحروف what type of uh, حروف are من and إلى anybody They are from the حروف الجر The Sheikh says من مثلا تقول خرجت من البصرة جيد نعم Another one, Thani Ila Examples Thumma Ruddu Ila Allahi Allahum al As for the meanings, he said over here, Min. للابتداء وإلى للانتهاء It's on page 42 فإذا قلت خرجت من مكة إلى المدينة فابتداء سفرك من مكة وانتهاؤه إلى المدينة He said the men shows the, uh, the beginning point of something Ela shows the, the end point of something. That is, uh, they are the examples as well as the meanings that the Sheikh was referring to. Tayyip. Hal rubba, next question. Hal rubba littaqlili أو التكثير طبعا ربع يشمل حروف الجر is it التقليل أو التكثير is it to show something is few in number or large in number the Sheikh spoke about it on page 44 here we are he said السادس ربع تقول رب رجل لقيته ورب تأتي للتقليل والتكثير حسب السياق according to the context according to the context that it comes in نعم أحسنت بارك الله فيك حسب السياق according to the context that it comes in. Jayid. Asu'al al-tasi' ashar. Rubba rajulin yamutuna min al-bardi. Afwan. Rubba rijalin yamutuna min al-bardi. Kalimat rijalin. Ismun. Fama fiha min alamat al-ismi. What are the signs of the ism found in Rijalin. I wish I had a solution to that the problem of my voice. But um, I think yesterday, as the brothers were experiencing the same problem, and they joined via Mixler. Apparently, the voice is coming out clearer. If you you can mute the uh, my voice, or mute your uh, speaker for 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 Wiz IQ, and then listen directly to the uh, to Mixler. Again, if the brother Mazumbul or someone can, any Mazumbul can put the the code, the uh, the link or rather. Um, you could, maybe you could try listening uh, via 
via mixer. Apparently there's a slight delay on that as well, but the, the, the sound is clearer. And it could well be the fact that both of these uh, devices are running right now at the same time, which is my laptop, as well as the uh, the phone on on Mixler. Then Mixler could be uh, usurping most of the bandwidth, leaving not much for for this. So this that could be a reason. And that's the the answer is correct. Achil Kadim says Achil Achir. You said Tanwin with the whole harf chaf. Well, I saw the Tanwin. Rubba Rajal in the Sahih. No, no, harf al chaf, and one more. Rubba Rajal in the Mutuna min al Bardi. So there's the Haraf al-Khaf, there's the Rubba, there's the Tanween, Rijalin, and one more. <coughs> and one more sign is the is the Khaf in itself, the fact that it is Majroor. Tayyib. Al-Kafu min huruf al-Khafdi fama ma'naha wa mathil lima taqool. Okay, this one. I won't go to the page. Hopefully, the brothers will remember the meaning of Al-Kaf and can think of an example. Bearing in mind we've been over it twice in the, in the last period, meaning we've studied this portion of the book um, uh, twice over. So... Uh, some things, inshallah, should... Uh, should should have stuck. What is the meaning of al kaf harf al khaf? No. Ah, uh, Abu Mimun wants the PDF. So you can quickly scroll back and check it out. <laughs> it's leisure. It's available. It's available because we're using the PDF. So. There you go, it's on the resource section of this same uh, page. Naam. So, kaf, as you said, similar, naam, it means tashbih. Al kaf, or lit tashbih. Let's go to the place. And can you, get, can you think of an example? Naam. Here you are, the Shaykh gives an example, he said, Fulanun kal bahri karaman. He's like the ocean in such and such. He's like the ocean, like the sea in generosity. Kal bahri. So as you said, similar. Or, as the Shaykh will say, it is, Littashbih wa ma'na al kaf. Then the Sheikh says, next question. Ra'aytu rajulan kal asadi. Al asadi ismun fama fihi min alamat al ismi. I saw a man, he was like a lion. Al Asadi, Kal Asadi. What are the signs of a noun in this word? Alif Lam, Jayid. Al Asadi. Ascent half al Khaf. The whole half al Khaf. Sahih. And lastly, it is Majroo. That is the Khaf itself. Allahi Barak Fikum. We'll do one more question because that will be, that will close the area of Al Ism. 
before the Shaykh revises the alamat al-fi'l, then the brothers themselves can revise those before next class. The last question, Qala ta'ala, Lillahi mulku samawati wal ard. Kalima, kalimatu lillahi. Ismun, fama fiha min alamat al-ismi. نعم يا أخي معظم المجرور والخفض is from the علامات الاسم فشو خفض and جر they actually amount to the same نعم طيب so فما فيها من علامات الاسم What are the signs of the noun? دخول حرف الخفض Where is the حرف الخفض over here? Where is the حرف الخفض over here? لله إذا لام صحيح لام الجر طيب لام الجر What else? ومن علامات الاسم اوكي سو لله من علامات الاسم ايضا فيه الخف صحيح because you got a harf al-khaf and one more and that is the lam lam al-jar the kasra yes one more is alif al-lam which is over here but we can't see it because originally Allah Ta'ala's name is Alif Lam Allahu Jayid Then the Lam Al Jar comes and if you do it like this it'll be difficult to read it and it will create confusion of what's uh, what's being said so then, all of this goes, um, and just this remains, Lillahi. Barakallahu feekum, jazakumullahu khairan, wa salli allahumma wa sallam ala nabina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. We'll stop there inshallah, we'll see you with the night next week. And uh, having revised, ala matul fi'li, and the coming questions, you can... Possibly get a head start by having a look at those questions or taking a screenshot. 23. Ma alamatul fi'li. And 24 onwards. Ma taqulu fi shajaratun wa maddalil. So we'll take some of these questions. Bi'idhinillahi ta'ala.